Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are looking at the Squid Marketplace app together. It's built on Reef Mainnet and uh, just got live and public. We're mainly looking at two features of it, which is NFT sales and NFT creation. And there's some other nice features uh, which we're gonna do in the next videos. If you're new to the blockchain space and less experience in crypto, I'd suggest you to read my script. I'm posting it in the descriptions down below. You can find all necessary information there, for example, how to set up uh, your browser extension or to create a wallet. And yeah, there's all information for you to get started. So let's uh, go for the first step and visit the app at squid.app. As you can see on my screen, I already visited the app. And yeah, got this nice landing page here. And yeah, so let's connect our wallet and click connect. As you can see, I have multiple accounts. Um, today I'm using my account called Refloop. And um, yeah, please make sure in the drop down below, you select Mainnet. And then click your account. Okay, so now I got this uh, pop up here uh, from my Reef Chain wallet extension. Um, and it asks me to sign a message. Um, you can see my account, you can see my balance, uh, my native address and my EVM address. And yeah, I can just uh, type in my password. And uh, click remember my password uh, for the next 50 minutes and sign the message. Perfect, so now we are connected with the Squid app and yeah, we can just click account. And as you can see, um, my account is connected. You can uh, see your balance, you can see your other available accounts. You can see that you are connected to mainnet and also you can view your profile. So let's click view profile. Nice, so this is your personal space here. Um, you can see some information, um, available items, no items yet. Uh, that's what we're gonna change uh, in this tutorial. And yeah, you got some uh, options here, collections uh, available on sale and some others. Um, also your recent activity. And yeah, we're gonna look at some of these features later on. Um, yeah, so let's just scroll around on the app um, and click sales. Okay, nice. So here you can see some available items. Um, you can see the title of it, uh, a preview, and uh, the amount it's costing. So I pretty much like this one. So yeah, let's click on it. Okay, so this one's called Darkness and Light. Um, you can see some information here about the creator. Um, you can see the owner, so creator and owner at the same time. Um, so meaning this one was not sold before. You can see the royalty, uh, which is 1%, which means every time this NFT is going to be sold, the creator earns 1% of the sales amount. Um, you can also see the sales price, which is uh, 12,000 reef, approximately $45. And yeah, you could um, just buy it now or look at the history. Mm, no history yet. And uh, some details. Um, the metadata got approved. Um, you can see uh, information about token contract and um, yes, yeah, some additional metrics we are looking into later. So yeah, let's uh, create our first NFT and uh, click create. Nice, so this is probably the most interesting page um, where you can create your own collectible. Um, to the left you see a window uh, upload file. So there we could up upload uh, PNGs, JPEGs, MP4 with a uh, capacity of max uh, 30 megabytes. Um, and to the right side, you got some additional information you can add somehow attached to this NFT. Um, and yeah, let's just uh, choose a file and um, 
proceed in the creation. Today I'm using uh, this clownfish here. So just open and select. Beautiful. So now we have a preview of this clownfish uh, underwater. You could also clear it again. Um, but now we are proceeding with the title. So uh, this one's called clownfish. Yeah, you can also add your description, which, which is optional. But we're gonna say clown fish with coral reef. Yeah, the next step would be um, putting in a royalties receiver. As stated below, if you leave it blank, um, it will just connect to the wallet um, you are using. So currently I'm using uh, my wallet reef look. So that's, uh, that one's gonna be automatically used. If you need additional information uh, to royalties receiver, you can find all the necessary stuff um, in my script. Yeah, so for the royalties value, I will put in 10, 10%. So every time my clown tree is gonna be sold, I will earn 10% of the sales amount. A number of copies, we're gonna do one because yeah, I want my NFT to be unique. The next step would be um, creating a collection. Um, so let's do that. Um, my collection is gonna be called uh, Reef. The description is gonna be uh, fish swimming around reef. And we can also choose a cover image. I'm using this uh, beautiful reef logo today. Nice, so now I can uh, create my collection. So let's click uh, create collection. Perfect, so that's, that was uh, successful. Now I can choose uh, from existing collections and click reef. Nice. So the final step before um, we can uh, deploy our NFT would be adding some properties. So this is super important. Um, it's so-called metadata. And um, yeah, it makes your NFT unique and differentiable, which is very important. Um, we always got a key and a value. So for example, the key would be background. And the value would be purple coral. And then I would say color. So the fish color color uh, would be orange. We could also say um, the pattern on the fish. So we call key pattern. And then we say white stripes, for example. Um, we could also say there's a certain theme to it, so key would be theme and the value would be um, underwater. And then um, to differentiate between some NFTs um, about their scarcity, we could also do scarcity as key and we could do super rare because I believe my uh, clownfish is very rare. Okay, perfect. So now we added uh, five properties. I think that's enough. So yeah, let's just check again. We have our image here. Um, all the data looks super nice. Also got a collection and some properties. So yeah, finally we can create our NFT and deploy it to Reef Mainnet. So let's click create item. Okay, so now the Reef Chain Wallet extension will pop up again. Um, uh, now it says transaction. You can see my account. You can see where the request is coming from, which is uh, squid.app. Um, we can also see uh, which chain we are deploying to, which is Reef Mainnet. So that's correct. Um, yeah, I've got some additional information here. And yeah, I want to sign the transaction now. So let's click sign the transaction. Perfect, our NFT got successfully deployed to Reef Mainnet. We can see um, 
this page here so I can see clownfish which is my title can see my description um, I can also see in the information uh, who is the creator this is my wallet address perfect 10% um, royalty that's very important so you really want to make sure your royalty is set as you want it to um, this will be programmatically set up for lifetime so every time your NFT is going to be sold, you're going to earn 10% of the sales amount. And this is super important for creators and artists um, yeah, to just uh, participate in every sale. I can also see the owner, which is also me. That's correct. And uh, yeah, look at some properties that we've uh, defined together. And uh, the collection it's belonging to, which is called Reef. Um, we can also see what is available now, so I could put it on sale, um, create a loan proposal, create an auction or a raffle. And yeah, we're gonna look in the other features in the next videos, so yeah, just uh, stay tuned. Um, here we have a message uh, which tells me that my item is uh, pending for moderation, so... Um, when this is successful, um, my NFT is gonna be, um, yeah, somehow valid and uh, deployed to the mainnet. Nice, so this looks uh, super cool. So now we could um, click on account again and uh, view our profile. So as you can see um, on the profile now we have available items, which is our clownfish. And uh, yeah, just click on it again to make sure it's there and successfully deployed. Same information. So now I'm owning this NFT on my profile and I could put it on sale or do some other nice stuff with it. Okay, um, thanks for your attention. If you need uh, further information or you got some questions, uh, just uh, put them in the comments or hit us up on our um, developers chat or on Discord or Telegram. Um, we are going to publish um, further videos on uh, loans, auctions and raffles. And yeah, thanks for watching again and have a good day.